folks, how you doing? This is your friend uh, Haywire Canada, uh, Paul, Reverend Paul David Fraser Boyd, and uh, I didn't do a morning report. This is my nightly update. I didn't do this morning's update because I uh, I got up uh, really early and I went down to the garage and uh, to see uh, the uh, rent, look at the van I rent from Terry. I went down to get the the uh, two front tires put on and get them to look at the. Um, Get them to look at the uh, the struts and the other things that were making noise. Uh, I'm using my uh, Yeti mic here. Um, it's, uh, it's a little bit off screen there because I don't really need it in the screen, um, but I just need to point it in the right direction so you can hear me clearly. Um, so there, there you go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Check, check, check. Okay. That sounds fine. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, now I just want to tell you, I got up early this morning around 8:30. And by uh, I went back to bed again, and then uh, I kept on having uh, dreams. I was in Mexico, and uh, down there uh, building a house, and uh, hopefully it's a, it's a it's a vision of the future that I will soon be building a house there and have a home and the uh, and a family and everything. Uh, that's what I uh, was dreaming over and over again. And, uh, and then finally I woke up at 9:30, oh, actually 9 o'clock, and by 9:30 I was down at the garage, which is early for me because usually I don't wake up till about 10 or 11. Um, and I drove down to the garage, and uh, Jimmy, the mechanic, uh, put uh, two front tires. Well, he first took the van for a spin around the block, him and Vic. Uh, and then the, um, what they did is Jimmy put on two front, Jimmy and Vic, uh, the mechanics at the, at the garage, put two uh, new, uh, not new, but two uh, used uh, tires with some good tread on the front. Uh, and they ordered some parts. They didn't tell me what was wrong, but uh, they said nothing to worry about, that they were going to get the parts. I think it was a strut or a strut mount they might have needed. Um, then after that, I came home, and I was extremely tired. Um, actually, I stopped on the way at McDonald's. Oh, shoot. Uh, I stopped at a, uh, at a fast food joint. I already told you what the name is. I shouldn't be. Uh, I'm not doing advertising for them because they're not paying me, but if they want to, I'll go bum, 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 bum. So they'll pay me. But, uh, of course, they're probably not going to pay me because McDonald's probably isn't even watching this video. But if you're out there anyone at McDonald's you want me to punch your uh, name or any other fast joint or, or uh, organization or whatever you want me to pump, well, show us some uh, cash and uh, we'll make a dash, as it were. Uh, so basically, I'm going to get back to what I said. I, I had my, uh, my, my uh, muffin sandwich with egg and sausage, and then I had uh, two uh, hash browns and, uh, and a coffee, uh, actually a hot chocolate because I have coupons for free hot chocolate. I used my last two up today. Um, and then what I did is I went to, uh, after that I came back home and I slept till about one o'clock, and at one I left my home. Um, that's mainly why I didn't do my morning blog because I was just too tired, I was already beat, and it's been super hot. Today was 26 degrees, but with the humidex it felt like 31. And inside the room here right now, it's uh, according to the thermometer over there, it is actually 33 degrees inside here. Uh, so it's uh, I got all the windows open and the fans on, but it's uh, it's a scorcher inside here even right now. It's really the humidity is really uh, high to it, 67 percent. It's only 17 degrees outside, but uh, inside here it's like 33. Um, so I'm like, whew, I'm gonna take a shower and go to bed soon. Um, so basically, that's what I did. I um, I had my breakfast, went to nap, came back out at one. I worked from one o'clock uh, to uh, six, and at six I stopped into a another uh, fast food outlet. I picked up two burgers and the fries and a uh, and a salad. Uh, sorry, not, uh, two burgers and a salad. And uh, then I uh, had another coffee with that because I had a coupon for a free coffee. And I went back to work. I mostly worked in uh, in Sackville. I did do a little bit of work in Bedford, but uh, uh, I was having a half decent day. It was really a, actually uh, it was a good day. In the end, the last few hours were good. I had a call from uh, an airport call. It was my last call, and uh, and also before I went to the airport, I, I during my break, um, I um, did some uh, I did a couple good calls, and uh, like the last two hours of my shift were, were super and got me back on track. I didn't do like phenomenal, but I did uh, a good to be rate about average down back on average. So it's uh, today and yesterday on average, so which is good, uh, better than what Monday was, which was a uh, day, right? You know, what I mean. Um, so basically, after that, I worked to 10 o'clock. My last call, I cleared at the airport. Uh, she at the airport uh, in Holiday Inn. Uh, sorry, um, at the, one of the airport inns. Um, I, I'm not going to mention your name once again unless you want me to plug your name or do uh, some hidden placement product, then you can uh, show us some dinero and we'll be your hero. 
Um, just a few slogans there, and maybe someone out there will listen and uh, want me to sponsor it. I can put even put a below here at the bottom. I can put a little banner across and uh, mention your company name or product or service, as long as it's something that's uh, ethical and um, something that's non. Uh, you know, I'm not going to do things for Extends or or uh, Viagra or men's product or or anything like that or anything that uh, you know uh, that is considered um, you know. Um, not bad, but it's considered not really appropriate for my videos. So I'm trying to keep most of my stuff uh, PG, uh, and so I don't want to have uh, uh, for a general audience. I don't want to start advertising that might take away viewers of this show. I'm sorry that I'm wiping, but I don't like pouring with sweat here because it's so warm, so hot in here, um, and I got the fan full blast. But um, that's about it. Um, so now I, I come home here, and I um, well actually before I went home, I stopped in Walmart. Um, uh, I stopped into one of the super mega stores. I'll put it that way. Unless Walmart wants to start paying me to mention them, and I've already I mentioned them three times. Um, and I picked up um, a few things I needed, some hardware, and they had some really good sales in their clearance department. So I stocked up on a bunch of clearance items and uh, some hardware and some things I wanted to work with. And uh, also, I forgot to mention I today I stopped uh, earlier today. I stopped in uh, after I. I had my uh, breakfast before I started to work. I stopped into the, the, all the thrift stores today, and um, I went to the Bible Mission again. And I found a really nice um, uh, package of CDs and uh, a CB radio, a um, 23 channel mint shape. I'm gonna I'm gonna restore it back to life if it's any good. I got it for five bucks. You can't beat that. Uh, 23 channel um, Pacer radio, which is an antique, but it's in beautiful shape. Hopefully it works. I'm gonna try it. Uh, and I got a package of five uh, CD uh, blank CDs he had for uh, for four bucks there, so uh, that was a good deal at the uh, missions for Bible mission. And then I went over to Frenchies and I got a tripod and uh, an another uh, some a little bit of clothing and a few other things, a little little uh, things at uh, Frenchies guy Frenchies uh, at the thrift stores. <laughs> and then I stopped at the one that was just owned by which was Salvation Army. I stopped by there too. And looked around to poke to a few things that I'm gonna probably pick up later in the week. There was a few things I wanted there, but uh, they, there's no sale on. But there's a sale tomorrow uh, and, and the next day, Thursday and Friday, there's a sale at the uh, at Sally Ann. So I'm gonna probably stop in there and grab what I want and a few other items. Um, so basically, that's my wrap up for today. I thank you very much for tuning in, as uh, you always do, and uh, I thank you for your comments below, and I uh, thank you for uh, allowing me to share my time with you and my life with you, and. Uh, Hopefully uh, my, it will help me with my life improvement and it will help you with your life improvement if we all work together. So before I um, shut down this uh, video for the night, I'm going to uh, get our prayers together as we normally do at the end of uh, each of my videos. Let's pray and it's time for, uh, for prayer. So uh, let's go for it. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for all the blessings you've given us each and every day. Thank you for each day we know is a blessing. It is a gift totally from you, Jesus. You died on that cross for us so that we could wake up each day. And each day we do not have to suffer the, the sins that you've taken for us. You took our place on that cross. And we thank you for that, Jesus. We thank you for every blessing we have each day. All the, the beautiful country we live in, Canada, and, and then the area of the world and the time that we live in, that there's peace. And that we can truly uh, do things that many people in the world can't. And we think it surely is a blessing from you, Jesus. Truly a blessing from God that we live in Canada and we live in a, a great time and place. So I thank you for that, Jesus. And I thank you for every night that we have the ability to sleep on a bed, but many people don't. And those that don't have a bed, I pray that, that they, the, the way it comes up to get a bed, they get a place to sleep. Uh, those are homeless, let's hope and pray that they, uh, they get shelter and, and get their, self on the, their feet on the ground. I pray for everyone that is, is poor and downtrodden that they uh, will turn to you and they realize that you can lift them up. You can make them a new person, you can make them stronger and better, and you can uh, build what others can't. So thank you, Jesus, for every blessing you've given us. Thank you for blessing with everyone who's watching this video and even to ever touch my life at some point. I pray for uh, the people in the, who are being affected by uh, these series of hurricanes that they uh, rebuild their lives and they also realize that you are the sole sauce, source of everything and that they uh, can turn to you and you will never turn your back on them, you will never leave them behind. Sometimes you feel like you're, you're so far away from them but you're, 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 you're not an arm's length, you're, you're right next to them, you're right next to their heart. 
So thank you, God, for, for, for Jesus, for dying on that cross. Thank you for giving your heart, your love, your love for me and for everyone. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for watching.